and welcome to Dollar Workout Club. My name is Lynn, and since I'm wearing green today, I'm gonna to be leading the beginners in the workout today. Natalie in yellow is gonna be leading the intermediate group, and Drew over here in red is gonna be showing the advanced motion of today's exercises. This way, anyone at any level can participate in the workout today. So what we're gonna do first is go through each of the exercise moves we're doing, along with those modifications so that you know who to follow. We'll get into a warm-up, and while we're doing the warm-up, we'll explain the workout for you guys today. The first move we're gonna be doing is lunges with a side raise. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get something that is weight appropriate for you. So if you're green, you're probably gonna get something like soup cans or light water bottles or uh, light dumbbells. Natalie's gonna be using some lighter dumbbells and then Drew's gonna be using heavier weights because he's advanced. So I'm gonna have Natalie show the green version for me today. So go ahead and grab, you'll actually only need one can for this because you're gonna be holding on to either a wall or you're gonna be having your hand on a chair for support and stability as you come into the lunge. What you're gonna do is you're gonna step one leg forward and as you do, you're gonna be bringing that back knee towards the ground as far as it can go. It usually can't go all the way down at a beginner level and that's okay and as she does that she's simultaneously just raising that weight or in this case soup can out directly to her side so you can see her palms facing towards the ground as she lifts that weight up to about shoulder level so that her arm is parallel with the ground then she pushes back up through her heel rotates sides and does it again on the other side as you see her doing right here for for yellow and for red, they're actually gonna be doing the exact same motion. They're gonna be using both weights at the same time because they're more balanced as they come down. They'll step forward, bring that back knee as far as they can towards, if, if possible, hitting the mat. They'll push through the front heel back up. And as you see, they're raising those weights as a dumbbell side raise as they come down and then completing the motion after they've completed the raise and hit their knee to the mat and push back up. So that's lunges with side raise. The, the only other move we're doing actually is a thruster with a pulse. So a thruster is a squat with an overhead raise. And again, you're just gonna be using a lighter weight. Um, so just go ahead and maybe practice the move a couple times to make sure you pick the right weight for you. Natalie's gonna get next to this ledge. You can use a chair instead or anything that's high off the ground. You're gonna have your, your feet a little bit about shoulder width apart. Then you're gonna sit down like you're sitting in a chair while holding those weights close by your ears. And then you're gonna come up for a little pulse, back down and then all the way up pressing that weight up as you come. So you can see that she sits up, but then immediately sits back down, which is the little pulse. She comes up and she pushes those weights all the way above her head, extending until her elbows are basically locked in the upright position. Drew and Natalie are doing the same thing. The only difference is, is they're gonna be going into a deeper squat so that they're going below parallel and then doing their pulse and then coming all the way up and extending that weight overhead. And as you can see, they're using a heavier weight just like they did in the last move. We'll be doing all of this together. You'll be able to follow along with the person at your level and we'll remind you of form as we go so that you don't have to worry too much that you're not doing proper form as we do this workout. So Natalie and I are gonna jump into the warm up. follow along with us, make sure you warm up with us and Drew will explain the workout for you guys today. All right, you guys, today's gonna be a tough one because it's a 14 minute AMREP. That means as many rounds as possible possible 14 minute time cap. So the way that's structured today is you're doing two reps of each movement. That's what we start out on. So two lunges with a side raise, two thrusters with a pulse. And remember lunges is one foot, it counts with one side raise counts as one rep. Switch, this counts as the second rep, okay? Um, you're doing two of those, two thrusters with a pulse. Then you're doing four, four, six, six, eight, eight, ten, ten. You go up by two each time and you just keep going and going until the 14 minute uh, timer stops, okay? So whatever you can get to in those 14 minutes, whether you get up to 20 reps of each or 30 reps of each, that's totally up to you. Um, you just go at your own pace, at your own level, and make sure you pick the right amount of weights. Um, it should be challenging, right? You might have to take some breaks when you get to you know, reps 12 or 14 or 16, that's totally fine. You just go at your own pace and go until the 14 minute time cap, uh, until the 14 minute timer goes off, okay? And if you get lost, the rep scheme and the clock will be on the screen for you to follow along throughout the entire workout. 
Yep. Looks like we're doing some Let's dancing. A couple more, <laughs> couple more reaches. Another thing that you guys <laughs> may want to do, <laughs> another thing you guys may want to do so. really quickly before we start is grab a piece of paper. What might help you in order to keep track of your reps, since we'll all be going at different speeds, is you can write 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, etc. on a piece of paper. And after you've done two of each move, just quickly mark it off before you go into the next. That way it's a little bit easier to keep track of how many reps you have in the move. So now that we've gone through everything, we're going to go ahead and get ready in just a few seconds. All right, I'm going to make sure I get in position and have my weight ready. Remember, we're just doing one side each, and we're starting in three, two, one, and go. Remember that if you are green, you're rotating sides so that you're doing really just one side raise on each side and then going into your thrusters with the pulse. So you sit down, you come off a little bit, sit back down, and then you come up and press. Sit down, come up just a little bit, come back down, <laughs> this is burning already. and press. So you got your two in. Then you go straight right back two. into four, you guys. Three. Four. When you're doing oh, the so thrusters. 14 minutes yet? Yeah. <laughs> when you're doing the thrusters, you can kind of swing your hips to give you some momentum to get your arms above your head. So when I do that in a second, watch and pay attention. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Shoulders are burning. Nice job. So, see how I swing my hips up and it kind of propels my arms into the air? Makes it easier for you. Make sure you squeeze those glutes at the top, you guys. Okay, squeeze those glutes, full repetition. I know that it's going to get pretty tiring, but focus on good form throughout the We're entire movement. We're already on movement. eight. We're only two minutes in. Now for green, because of us having to switch and the way that we're doing this and holding on, to make it a little bit more challenging, I'm gonna try to do them all on the same side before I rotate, just to make it a little bit quicker. So since I'm on six, I'm gonna go one, two, three, I'm gonna go up to six, and then I'm gonna change sides so that I'm doing all of my raises and all of my lunges on one side. Now I'm doing that to make the reps go faster, but if you need to switch with each rep, that's okay too. Do what's easiest for you. Make sure that you're going below parallel. <clears throat> nice job, you guys. Make sure you keep uh, uh, for two minutes hard. into this workout. Yeah, we're Make only sure two minutes you in. keep that weight in your heels as you come down for those thrusters, okay? The weight's in the heels. You're pushing through your glutes. You may notice that you're already out of breath because we're going at a really quick pace and these are full body mo movements. So you're really burning a lot of calories doing this. It's gonna be a long 14 minutes. <laughs> I'm just finishing up six reps of each. Shaking out my legs a little bit, and I'm going to go into eight. And oh again, my gosh. I'm going to try to do it all on one side before I rotate. You have a marathon mentality here. Okay, don't burn out in the first two minutes. Nice job, you guys. Keep breathing, you guys. I know this is hard. You're going to get pretty fatigued pretty quickly. If you need to shake out your legs or your arms, go ahead and do that. And then get right back into it. Oh my gosh. Trying to just keep going up that I'm ladder. Shake my arms out for a second. Focus on your form. <sighs> Three and a half minutes into this. Try <laughs> to bring your arm up when you're doing these raises. Right, 12, so right? Parallel 12. to the ground. I'm gonna just nice do one job. rep at a time if you need to. Yeah, you might have to break it up a lot. Yeah. As we get in these higher numbers, that's all right. Yeah, break it up as much as you need, you guys. This is you versus you. Good job. Keeping those weight in the heels. Remember, if you're on those lunges, you push off through your front heel as well. <sighs> Keep that chest up. Man. Shake my arms out for a second. Okay, good job, guys. The pulse is just a small movement, you guys. Small little movement. 
This makes it so much harder though. It does make it so much harder. You guys, I'm definitely gonna have to start breaking up these reps. So I'm probably gonna do, now that I'm up to 10, I'm probably gonna do five, take a break, switch and rotate, and then five, take a break, switch, rotate, until I get 10 on each side. Because remember, you gotta make sure that you're... Oh my gosh, yes. We're on 14. We're almost, almost five minutes into this. Not even halfway. <laughs> uh, all right. It's okay to take little breaks like that. It's fine. Whew, here we go. Nice job. Definitely take breaks as you need, you guys. This is about you challenging yourself. For these thrusters, I'm probably gonna break this up into five and five. Remember, feet shoulder width apart, weight in the heels as you come down, little pulse up, and extend all the way up. Make sure you guys are focusing on your form throughout this entire exercise routine. The thing is, guys, just because it burns doesn't mean you need to stop. Only stop when your form is compromised, okay? Yeah, it should burn. There's a difference. You might notice the burning versus a strong, acute pain or ache. Yeah. That's a big difference there. Nice job. Weight in those heels, you guys. You can see Drew and Natalie having perfect form. Their chest is still up. They're not hunching over. And they're pushing that weight all the way to the ceiling. Okay? Good full rest. Keep track of your reps in your head. Or write it down on a oh, paper. Man, that's so hard. You challenge yourself here. Oh. This is going to be a hard one, you guys. We're almost six and a half minutes in. It's okay to take little breaks like this because we know that we have a long ways to go. So don't kill yourself in the first little bit. Here we go. Remember, each leg counts as 14. one rep. I know sometimes when I'm explaining about form, I lose track of my reps. But each leg counts as one rep. So I'm doing six on one side. I'm doing six on the other for a total of 12. If you're following me in green, we're at 12 right now. And you guys, if this weight gets too heavy and you yep. feel like you can keep going but you can't lift your arms up, put the weight down and just do the motion and keep going. All right. Nice job, you guys. Focus on your form. Keep that chest up. We're over seven minutes into this. So we're over halfway. So guys, on thrusters, use your hips. That really helps a lot. You can thrust up with your hips. And use that momentum to get the wing up. Okay, I'm taking a quick break. I'm breaking that up into six and six again on these thrusters. You can break these up however you want. If you don't feel like you need a break, don't take one. Your heart rate should be elevated. You should be breathing a little bit harder. Okay, so you want to make this challenging. You don't want to take a break every time you're tired. You really want to only take a break if you notice that your form is being compromised because you're so fatigued. Uh, nice job, man. you guys. Nice job. Shake out those Getting legs. Harder. Remember, increasing as we go. Right now I'm on 14, so I'm going to do seven on each leg. Those Ooh, are all wow. in green. Man, this is hard, you guys. We can nice do this, job. though. We can do this. We're on 18. Shoulders are burning, legs are burning. Lungs are screaming. Should be sweaty. Very sweaty. <laughs> We're all sweating out here. Okay? If you don't feel tired, if you don't feel like this has been challenging yet, you need to go up a level. Okay? Go up to yellow or red if you're at a lower level and you don't find that this is difficult. Nice job. Push through that front heel as you come up. Focus on keeping that chest high and raised. Good job. All right, shake that out for a second. Get right into your thrusters, you guys. Taking as small breaks as you can. 
Don't forget your little pulse with every single squat. Little pulse. Uh, the camera has a close up of my face, it's like I've grown so pain every time. Gosh, those hurt. Oh Keep pushing yourself, you guys, you're doing awesome. Alright, we're now almost 10 minutes in, you guys. It's gonna be hard. I'm on 18. Right? Yep. 20? No. 18. Dang it, why did I do 18 last time? Alright, you guys, keep going. You're doing awesome. Thrusters are second. What? Thrusters are second. We just did 18 lunges. Yeah, now 18 first. Yeah, I did 18 first. You guys are doing awesome. All right. <laughs> Every rep counts. Small pulses, keeping that chest raised, pushing that weight all the way to the ceiling. If you're like us, we're all in thrusters right now. Nice job. Keep that weight in your heels, you guys, and squeeze your glutes at the top of each rep. You're doing awesome. We're over 10 and a half minutes into it. All right, if you're following me, we're on 16. I'm gonna do eight on each side. Oh my gosh. This is really hard, you guys. Good job. Huh? Uh, yeah, with these workouts, you really have to have a marathon mentality going into it, knowing that's gonna be long. It's gonna be grueling, you're gonna need to take breaks. That's totally fine. We're on 20. Nice job, you guys. Mm. Counting your reps as you go, focusing on form. Really think with every rep. Think about the form you're supposed to do. You know, if you're on lunges like us, think about stepping that foot out wide, bringing that back leg, knees down, raising that arm at the same time, and pushing up through the heel. I know it's a lot to think about. <sighs> Keep challenging yourself. Do the best that you can. Take as few breaks as possible, you guys, because we're 11 and a half minutes in, so we don't have that much longer to go. Keep moving. Nice job. Keep that chest up. Sometimes you get tired, you bring your arms all the way up. I know for me, you guys, the weight's getting really hard in my arms. So I know at the green level, your arms might be even more worn out than your legs, which are a bigger muscle group. So just keep doing the move without the weight if you need to. We're almost there. Uh, We're only on less than two minutes left. There we go. We're almost there, you guys. Light at the end of the tunnel. You're doing great. Keep going, keep moving, you guys. This last little bit is where you're gonna see the most benefit, the most results. When you push past that fatigue and you just keep moving, keep going. We have less than a minute and a half to go. Keep breathing, keep that chest up. Keep that weight in the heels. Squeeze those glutes you guys at the top. Nice job. Almost there. We're almost to the minute mark, you guys. Keep going. Nice job. You guys, we're at less than a minute to go. I really want you to give it your all. Push uh, yourself. Challenge yourself. This is about integrity. It's about finishing the workout. Giving it your all the entire time. These workouts are short. If you've been a member for a while, you know that we believe in working out smarter, not longer. These are meant to be high intensity. They're meant to bring your muscles to failure. They're meant to be making you sweat. So keep challenging yourself. Get the full benefit. I'm doing awesome. Keep going, you guys. 20 seconds. Almost there. 20 Finish seconds, off. you guys. Finish strong. Keep going. Don't give up till the very end. Keep going. Focus on form. Keep that chest up. Bring those weights up as high as you can. Almost there. Uh, Keep breathing. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and uh, done. Somebody shoot me. Uh, don't puke. Don't puke. Oh, don't puke. <laughs> don't puke on camera. It's not good when you work out this hard to just sit down. Yeah. Keep so, moving, you guys. Walk. 
We're gonna, I can't talk. <laughs> it's so hard. We're gonna work together to bring your heart rates back down, okay? Yeah, that workout was brutal, you guys. Oh. We're all dripping in sweat. You should be at home too. Hopefully you really challenged yourself. But as your heart rate's up like it is right now, you do need to bring that heart rate back down. So I want you to focus on breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Still moving your body a little bit. As we start to cool down, we're gonna do our cool down stretches to really get that heart rate oh, down. Man. That was brutal. That all was right. Way hard. So we're gonna do a quad stretch. What I want you to do oh, is I want you to grab the back of your foot, and bring and that balance. foot back up towards your butt. If you're green, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and probably just rest the back of your foot on a ledge or that chair you're using because it's harder to reach and grab your foot to bring it back up. You should feel this all down the front of your leg, your quad muscle. Hold it there for a few more seconds and we'll switch. Whew. I'm proud of you guys. That, that was, was a full body killer workout. Mm. Well, we got to 20 reps and we got to 22, the round of 22s, but I didn't finish my lunges. Nice job, you guys. Whew. Nice job. Yeah, I didn't quite finish either. I got to like 19, I think. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Okay, so laying hamstring stretch. So what we want to do for this one, you guys, is oh. you're going to sit with one leg out in front, kind of make a triangle where the bottom of the foot is on top of the other thigh, the other quad. And what you want to try and do, if you can, is bring that chest down to that knee, put your arms out wide, slowly come down, and <laughs> ease into it. You should start to feel tighter and tighter as you put your chest down on that knee. If you feel lightheaded at all, bring your head up and just go like Yep, this. that's totally fine. You can still feel it. And based on your flexibility, I'm not as flexible. At a beginner lover, it's going to be harder to get further down. So this right here, you should still feel this down the back of your leg and towards your glute. Hmm. Oh, good job today, guys. Yeah, this you're going to be sore from this. You're going to want to do these stretches later on today or Switch. even continue doing these through the recipe and motivation video, stretching and make sure to hydrate you guys. We sweat a lot during this yeah. workout. So take your current body weight, divide that in half and that's how many ounces of water you should try to be getting in in a day at a minimum, the especially minimum. when we do this part of a workout you because we more. sweat so much, you really need to replace, okay? Yeah, All you that need, you've been- You even need more than that. Yeah. If you're doing these type of exercises, that's like a bare minimum if you're not yeah. exercising at all. And but that's a, good, that's a good number to shoot for. Sure. Yeah. And coffee and tea and soda don't count. Yeah. You don't want I know. Sad. <laughs> Juices don't count either. Oh. Yeah, my shoulders are going to be sore to touch Ooh, tomorrow. I they know. really will be tight and tender. All right, for calf raise, you can do it a couple different ways. You calf can stretch. see how, um, sorry, for calf stretch, you can see how Drew's doing it over here where he has one foot on the ground. He's using his weight and pressing with his other foot down. Natalie and I are going to go ahead and just come against a wall, putting our foot up against a wall and leaning towards it. <coughs> Either way is fine. Both of them are stretching your calf. All right, switch sides. <sighs> Great job, you guys. Your heart rate should <sighs> have come down by now, hopefully. Whew, man, I'm dripping in sweat right now. So okay, much Okay, you may notice that you're sweating a lot more afterwards. That's also the afterburn. We're gonna do one final stretch for our shoulders, which were burnt out from that exercise. Grab your arm and place it across your body. With the other hand, you're pulling your shoulder and your arm close towards your body. As you oh. see here. Mm. Nice job. Shake that out. Do the other side. Well, this is a great one that you can do even if you're at the office, sitting at a desk. Mm. All right, shake that out. So proud of you guys. That was definitely an intense workout. I hope uh. you pushed yourself and that you see all the amazing benefits from it. We love working out with you guys and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.
I want to talk to you guys today about charting your progress. Now, charting your progress isn't necessarily for everyone. I'm not saying you have to do it, but it can be very beneficial, especially in the early stages. And what do I mean by that? It can look a couple different ways. One way is to chart your food. A lot of people ask for more specific nutrition guidance, and one of the things I, I steer them towards is charting their food. Um, you can do this through dozens of free apps. A very popular one is something like myfitnesspal.com, um, which is free, and it's a way for you to track the food that you're eating. Though I don't think that you have to do this long term, it's great in the short term because it really shows you the types of foods you're eating, how often you're eating, the calorie range you often eat in. It might also show if you're over snacking at certain times and it will also show you your macronutrient split, split which is your proteins, carbs, and fats just to see if you're well balanced. Um, in addition to that, it's great to track your workouts, you guys. As you're working out with us, a lot of our um, exercises, whether it's you know doing the dumbbell lifts or curls, anything like that, when you're using weight, it's great to see the amount of weight you're using now and then look at that one or two weeks later so that you can make sure you're trying to improve your strength and increase your weight as you go. You also may notice that maybe you start off doing push-up on your knees and then you've been able to move to do push-ups on your feet. By charting your progress, it will help give you more motivation because you may not always notice the scale moving or you may not because you see yourself every day notice a huge physical difference but as you see your strength improve it can really build confidence and motivation so especially in the beginning I suggest that you track your progress through a journal for both your exercises and your food hey guys we just want to take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you dollar workout club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys and you mean so much to us yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe or how you thought of the workout or how you did in the workout or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club. And don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.